part three. Today we're going to create a little weather widget. Uh, I'm using an API that I already made the little get the location, it gets the data. I didn't, I was going to fuck up a lot doing this. So I didn't want to do that. So I made this already. And I have this. As you can see, this has absolutely nothing. In fact, it's telling me that it should be a pure function. So let's start by importing this get data. And in component will mount, component, nope, I don't have the things apparently. Component will mount, we're gonna get this data. So basically get data, and after we get the data, I'm gonna put this in here, then we're gonna get the weather, and we're gonna console log it just so, so we can see what we have. Console.log weather okay cool so component one should be placed after props okay so the prop should be at the top okay that's 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 cool guys okay let's go unexpected console statement that's not a problem let me just reload the page and oh there we go i was going to say apparently you have nothing <laughs> okay so we have a lot of stuff right now let's see what we actually need from you so let me check so I don't think I have like where I am so there's no location oh there's a location uh, I don't even know where this is let me just check this is not a place but okay I'm gonna I kind of live in the middle of nowhere so that actually makes sense but okay so let's see what we need Let's just come here and comment what we need. So let's make a line comment for this. Okay, so we need display location that. Okay, so it's display location uh, that city or maybe four. Yeah, let's go with four. Okay, so display display location that four. And then what do we need more? We need the actual weather. So I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna get both of these and this is actually gonna be a prop. So it feels like C and feels like F. Okay? So, feels like C, feels like F. It's gonna be Fahrenheit and, and thingy. Okay, and I'm gonna get the icon URL because I think that's important. Oh, there's also an image. Let me check what this image is. Oh, this is the image for weather on the ground. So I need the icon URL. Let me see what actually the icon URL is. Exactly, I need this. I need icon URL. And what do we need more from here? Okay, let me check. I don't think there's actually a lot more that we need. So like the rest is the proof. Precipitation, one hour, precipitation, one hour in, okay, one hour metric, wind, wind, okay, there's no wind, and we need weather, just to have an into one that says clear or something. So, okay, I think this is pretty much what we need, I don't think there's a lot of stuff here that we actually need more. Also, I think this feels like, should be like temp C and temp F. So temp C and temp F because these are numbers. Okay. So first of all, let's create a state. So type state is equal to is gonna have all of these things. So location and this is gonna be a string. We're gonna have I'm actually gonna name the same name because I think that's a pretty damn cool name. And that's gonna be a number. And uh, we're gonna have temp f, and that's gonna be a number two. We're gonna have the icon URL, which is gonna be a string, and the weather, which is gonna be a string. Okay, cool. Uh, in the props, all we're gonna let me just do this before the state. So state, it's gonna complain that I should put it lower, but well, that's life, right? Okay, state, state. Okay, actually didn't. 
no, yeah, that's cool. So the props is going to be unit. And uh, type unit is equal to either F or C or F. Oh, wait, no, this is done. Okay. So either F or C, so unit is going to be equal to unit. Okay, so this is what I'm going to get. Okay, let's do this then. So first of all, I got to create a constructor. Constructor, is this what typ typing? I think it is. So constructor, I'm going to super the props. Props, and then I'm going to this that state is equal to loading equals true. Okay, and loading is a boolean. Okay, are we good? Mm, it says that the props are in. What, what is the problem here? Oh, it's probably saying that this isn't doing anything. Identifier props could not resolve. Props is not defined. Well, it's kind of right. Where am I defining props? Identifier props cannot resolve name. Okay, constructor should be placed after props. Okay, so let's see if I have an error, and I probably do. Props is not defined. So I've been making so many like function components that I, I really don't remember where I need to. Okay, I got a little thing for this, RCC. Constructor, the constructor actually gets the props. Yeah, that actually makes perfect sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Let's do this. Okay, so the constructor gets the props and it does this. Okay, this does set state equals loading URL, okay. And I'm gonna get the rest of this to be completely empty. Okay, let me just have it like this now and this props is equal to this props. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna get one of those like one-liner thingies. Like one, 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 not one liner, but one, one, um, one liner CSS loading thingies, because those are amazing. CSS only loaders, exactly. No, because this is what I want. I think this is way too much. Oh god, I gotta wait for this to load. Oh god. Oh, this is too No. I think this sounds like cool enough. Okay. Oh, this has four divs. Seriously? Okay. So, this let's state the loading. I want you to show me this divs. These divs. I expect a token render. This needs to have a div around it. So let's close this div and do this. Yeah, this let's state that loading creates this. So I'm just going to name this style. Style loading and everything in here is going to be style loading bar. We just select all of these and click this style that and click this and click this. So I don't. Oh yeah. Okay. Wait. There we go. Pretty, huh? So let me get the style and. Let me get all of them things they have in here, and let's see if that actually works. Now I'm just a mess. Okay. Yeah, guys. Yeah, you should leave an empty line. Do you guys like know this? It's like a non thing expected. Expected a leading zero. Okay. Okay. Expected like the line before rule. There we go, guys, and there we go. We could you not expect it empty line. I think we could. Let me just check. And let's check if this is working. And we get ourselves a goddamn loading button. That's something, right? Okay, so if it's not loading, where is the end of that? I want to show a div with a class name. Where is that? There we go. Of style the weather. Okay, where I'm gonna define it is not loading. 
That wasn't me. So I got something on Facebook. <laughs> nah, loading. Is this okay? I don't know why he complains. Like, I want it in here. What is, it? what is the problem? Okay, so he wants it in here. I'm just gonna give him that, okay? Just gonna give him that. So, after we actually get weather, I wanna return this that set state. Loading is false. And I'm gonna copy all of these things. Except loading. I already did it. Okay. And I am gonna set all of them here. So location is equal to this. So weather that this. So let's exchange all of this for weather. And this is temp C. This is temp F. This is icon URL. And this is weather. Okay, so let's see if that is working. Get an loading. Okay. This I'll say that is loading. Show this. Else. Show this. I was missing that one. Not loading. Okay. That's great. They're pretty divs now. So, what do we want to do? We want to have uh, an H1 that is going to have the this that state that weather. It's going to say clear or something like that. So, we're going to close that H1. And uh, now we got to check for the props. Okay, so um, let's show you how it maps. I think we should have the image. So this is going to have a source of this, that state, that icon URL. It's going to have an alt of this, that state, that weather. Let me put it that pretty again. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna have a P that is gonna close exactly like that. And we're gonna put it in here, something like it. Okay, so I gotta put another thing in here. This the props that unit equals equals. This the props that unit, so uh, str to lowercase, I think. Case. Oh, you could see that was actually kind of working already. No, okay, I see it's loading case, which helps with. It's just to lowercase, okay. So this that props that unit to lowercase is equal to F, maybe not that F. I want to show this, that state, that to what, that temp F, Else, I want to show this that state that temp c. So apparently, I have an error. Ent ent HTML entities must be escaped. What do you mean? Oh, how do you escape this? Is it supposed to be like this? Yeah, it is, but it's after. Nope. Amazing. So I fixed the error. I'll check that later, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so now we have this, and all that's really left to do is uh, create a small and say you are currently on and this that state that location or something. Yeah, location and close this small. I think that's pretty much all we need. So let's check if that works. Let me close this. And this thing is loading. And can I read properly to lowercase? I've been defined. This stuff props that. Oh, okay. So the thing that I need to do is so basically, this is not. Um, this is not obligatory. Okay. But I need to create a default prop for this. So let's check. Default. No, this is not what I usually use.
Okay, so type default props. I think I use it like that way. Static default props. And I'm gonna go over here, unit, and I'm gonna set it to C. What is wrong again? That's because I should push the rule. Yes. Okay, I expect the token, but that's because like soon expect default props shouldn't have it's not actually a function. Yeah, it's I'm just declaring that this is a default props. So unit is actually gonna be equal to a C and I think I should do this. So basically this could be an F or a C or an F or a C. So you don't actually have to write it in like large things. Okay, so mm -hmm. it's not unit or lowercase. I don't think this is going to be undefined, I think. Let's check. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that totally worked. Let me just do this in here and do this and set it to C. So basically, this stuff props that unit or C to lowercase. If it's equal this, then show this that state of not. Uh, otherwise, show this. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. Okay, that's that's not so bad, is it? Let me just put this up here. No, it's better down here. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. I think we have a little little weather widget. A pretty cool little weather widget. Okay, so now let's style this damn weather widget. So I'm gonna come here and the weather. And I'm gonna set the background. Let me just open this so CSS, variable that's CSS. So I want the background to be like the whitest of whites. There we go. So the background is going to be this. So background is far white. And I want to set the width of this to be like 150 pixels and the padding to be like uh, 8, 8, 13 pixels and zero. Display flex. Align item center. Justify content center and flex direction is going to be a column instead of a row. And this is exactly what we get. So this is actually not bad. This is actually goddamn pretty. Look at this. Okay, what do I need to do? Oh, so there's another thing that I need to do. That is, is that state that temp. So basically I need to do this. No, not this, this. And this is okay. There we go. And this, this does state that temp. Okay, and this is gonna have a uh, this and C. So let me just copy this. I think that's easier than doing the whole thing. If F equals F, okay. And this is this is an F instead of a C. And this is a C. And there we go. It's clear, it's 18, 9 degrees, okay. Escape, character, HTML. I swear to God, I have no idea how to escape this. Okay, I can do this. And apostrophes. Where is it? Okay. Did that work? What do you need more? I think we should have like a little border radius for this. So I'm just gonna say like border radius equals two three pixels and some box shadow. Box shadow equals zero. I don't know zero. So zero zero two pixels and then like four pixels and RGBA. Let me check if I have any variables for this. So RGBA no. Oh, I do. I have a subtle shadow. So that is amazing. Okay, so box shadow equals var subtle shadow. I think the white is really not white enough. <laughs> Which may be a problem. So this is white 8, 
I think that white is just it's not white guys. That's that's not white. Oh, I have actual white here that it's called white too. What? Okay, this is gonna be white too. That doesn't make any sense, guys. And this is gonna be white. Okay, there we go. What did I do? Oh that happened. That even just went bonanzas. Okay, there we go. So that's whiter. Let me I'm gonna check the other white, so like white three looks whiter than that one, because that one was just weird. White three. No, they all have this like weird look. Let me just change Y3 to something that makes a little more sense in this case. So I have weather stuff. So I want something like this. Yeah, so FB, FB. Okay, let's go to here and just change weather three to this. And now we got ourselves. Damn pretty thing. So this is a simple weather widget. Okay, so I have each ones here. And this is coming. I should set my padding for each one. So I'm gonna go to the, not the variables, but I should have a like um, new file typo. The CSS. I'm gonna set each one. I'm gonna set the font size. Font size to 22 pixels, and I'm gonna set the line height to 28 pixels. I'm gonna set the padding to 10 pixels and zero, and I think that should. Look a lot better. Let me just go to the ver. Let me go to the style of CSS and import typo too. I think we're gonna do this loading like a lot more. So I'm gonna just I should import the loading. So let me see if that works. New file loading. That's CSS. And then we come to this style and put all of them there. Okay, and here import. I'm not sure if that works, so let's see. Loading.css. No, so that totally does not work, and apparently I lost all the styles for some reason. I don't know what I broke. Oh no, I didn't lose all the styles, I just lost the, the loading styles, I think. No, it totally worked. Okay, so I think the H1 did not. Which one is a margin? I don't want any margin, I just want padding. There we go. Are we pretty now? Let me go to the type of CSS and set the margin equal to zero. And I'm gonna set the P's font size to 14 pixels. Let me come here to the variables. Let me see if I have like a dark gray thing. I like this. So black four. What is the type? Okay, so this imports. Import variables.css and this color is going to be equal to black4. Okay, let's see it. What did I do? Oh, forgot this. Okay. That totally did not work. Okay, so I just said font and not size. So font size is 14 pixels. That's pretty. So, and the small should have a font size of 10. No, 12. Let's see if the font, this has anything. No. It says padding by default. What is the padding of this by default? So the margin is 14. I don't think it should have like 14 pixels in no account that this only has 10. So maybe this should have 14 of padding and the and the actual P should have a margin. So I don't know why I said it like this, like I could just do this. And this margin should be wait, not here, here. Margin should be 8 pixels and 0. I think that looks dandy now. Does each one have like a text? No, it's not text. Decoration, text, to error. Oh, how do you call it? I never remember the name. Text transform. Kept, no. Uppercase. That looks like crap, guys. So we're not doing that. And I'm also not setting this to control black, so let's say color is equal to 
then black three or something. Okay, no, uh, black two. Black two, I think it's pretty, looks pretty nice. Okay, so it's got style here. And let's call it a typo and color equals bar black two. Okay. Talk Sandy. I think we got ourselves a weather widget. So let's have two examples. So let's do this and set, okay. No <clears throat> props example. I'm gonna say default. I should have that guys. Thing in. Default to Celsius. And then we're gonna have no props and uh, Fahrenheit. Is that how you type Fahrenheit? I have no idea. I think I don't think. It, yeah, no, not even close, sir. Not even goddamn close. Fahrenheit, so and unit equals F. Let's see if that worked. Yeah, totally worked. You're currently in Moses, Portugal. It's 68 degrees and clear. And you got a little picture well, of your thingy. So, I think that's pretty much it. Let me just write a Celsius one. Just to make sure that it's working. Celsius and unit equals C. Okay, and let me put a description for this. Oh, where is it? Index.js. So, unit, and I'm gonna. No, it's like this. Exactly. So, this is the things that I can pass it. Just so people should know, and this should appear in here exactly. So, my problem now is that it can't find icon URL and anything else that I set on that state. That's because I need to set it as empty strings. Let's. To that that's I don't know um but still so this is equal to an empty string this is equal to an empty string I know this is a number that doesn't work it's equal to zero this is equal to zero I can URL is equal to an empty string another empty string empty string this is not an empty string there we go so no errors we have this as long as it's loading equals true it's okay and let me get a catch here so that catch and we're gonna set uh, this that state that error oh, wait so error I don't know exactly what it sends so I'm probably not gonna use it so I'm just gonna set empty parentheses I'm not actually gonna return anything and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna set set this that state that error this that set state Jesus this that set state equals error equals true so I set the state of loading to false and I set the state of error to true. Is this okay? Yeah, no error needs to be here. So this is a boolean too. And error needs to be here and error is false when it starts. So everything is okay now, right? Yeah, okay. So just I set state, okay. So else it shows this. So now I need to have a thing here, so not this, that state, that error. That was my phone. Amazing. If that state on error, you should show this. And I'm going to remove this from here. Else. Else you should show. But what should he show? Hmm. Make sure that the thing here. Why is the image like an expected token image? What is the problem? No, there's need to, there needs to be a div. That makes sense. Everything needs to have a div around it. So let me just create a div here. So that they stop complaining. And clean is my code. Amazing. Okay. So HTML emojis. Let me get up. I want to get like a sad emoji. I want the sad one. Could be this one, and I have this.
<laughs> that was weird. Okay, so let me. So, okay, what do I want to? Well, what do I want to do? I want to go to the API here, and type something in here. What? How? What? I don't think this actually reloaded the thing. Oh my god, it did. How the hell is this working? What? The hell? Okay, so how do I put this in? Like. Okay, but how do I use this? Dude. I believe there's actually like a lot of websites for this. Okay, so that's screwing, but how do I show it? Okay. There's no sad one here. Okay, let me go with the unused face. I'm not gonna say that this is actually. Oh! So if I do this. But this is not the one I want. I want. This is what I want. We're gonna get a small little guy saying there's been a problem getting your weather. Isn't that pretty, guys? Okay. So let me just set this with a class name. Of style that error, so just so I can give it a little padding, All right? So, that error, and we're gonna get a padding of 0 14 pixels, and we're gonna get a text align center. Okay, okay, I think I'm gonna get like get this. Like, sorry, kind of got stuck in my own headphones. Can I get this like bigger? Like, if I just come here and set font size to 29 pixels, oh my god, the icon totally gets bigger. So I'm gonna put that in an H1. I'm totally gonna to do this. So this is gonna be an H1. Let me see what that looks. That looks awesome. Okay, I'm gonna set it like this, and I'm gonna put this down here. I'm gonna save it and put this down here. Where's the problem? Okay, there's no problem. There's been, there, there has been a problem getting the weather. Look at him. Look at him. He's so sad. This is amazing. <laughs> Why am I so happy with emojis? I don't even know. I don't like emojis that much. It's just... I got the emojis. <clears throat> What's the problem now? Oh. So, the thing is, this div had the style of weather, but now it's not this div that's style of weather. It's this div. Last name of weather. There we go. So it shows you when, an, when there's an error, it shows you the exact weather. There's a description of the prop types that you can use. The default is Celsius. And so there you go. No, no props, defaults to Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Celsius again. So thank you very much, and that is it.